Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the symposium on Asia-U.S. Partnership Opportunities. We're thrilled to have you here today as we explore the abundant opportunities of collaboration between Asia and U.S. Asian Studies program at Kennesaw State University is housed in the Department of World Languages and Culture in Radar College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Our graduates work across various fields, including education, industry, and nonprofits. Through diverse coursework and experiential learning opportunities, we ensure that our students are equipped with skills and knowledge to thrive in today's globalized world. I'm proud to share that Asian Studies program at Kennesaw State University has been hosting SOPO since 2011, showing our strong dedication to fostering meaningful dialogue and collaboration between Asia and the U.S. It's my great honor to introduce our esteemed colleague, Dr. May Gao, the founder and chair of SOPO. Dr. Gao is a professor of communication and Asian studies at KSU. She has published extensively in communication, business, and Asian studies. She was uh, twice named as one of the 25 most influential Asian Americans in Georgia and was recognized by the White House Initiative on AAPIs for her leadership in enhancing Asia-US partnership. Let us extend a warm welcome to Dr. May Gao to get today's opening remarks. Thank you so much for that generous introduction, my dear colleague, Dr. Sha Huang. Dear SOPO speakers, sponsors, advisors, friends, colleagues, and students, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. On this beautiful spring day, we are gathered together to share what we achieved last year and to design the blueprints for the future. Today, we have about 300 of you attending SOPO in person, and an additional 500 or more people watching SOPO via live stream in the USA, China, Japan, Korea, Southeast Asia, and beyond including my parents and my brothers watching in Hefei, China. Thank you, family. Your spirit of learning, your warmth for business partnerships, and your efforts of coming to SOPO from across Asia Pacific are impressive. Please give yourself a round of applause for being here so early on a Friday in such an impressive way. <laughs> on behalf of members in the SOPO Planning Committee at Kennesaw State University, we warmly welcome you to 2024 SOPO Conference. KSU President Dr. Kathy Kat Schwake wrote, and I quote, we are proud of the role that Kennesaw State University plays in organizing this SOPO annual conference. Many KSU leaders are sponsors and speakers today. Dean Catherine Katie Kokinen. Yay! As you know, she has many fans here. <laughs> Dr. Shep Chu. will deliver opening remarks. Dean Monica Swan. All right. Dean Ian Ferguson. All right. 
and Dr. Tyler Redgill will moderate exciting panels. In addition, let me thank Dean Hazan Rashid Ali, <laughs> Dean Karen Conwebel, and Dr. Federica Santini for being some of speakers and or sponsors. As you have heard from Dr. Sha Huang, SAHO is organized by the Asian Studies Program, housed in the Department of World Languages and Cultures at Radar College of Health and or at Radar College of Humanities and Social Sciences. We appreciate many of you offering internships and jobs to our talented young students today at KSU. Thank you. Founded in 2011, the Symposium on Asia-USA Partnership Opportunities is the largest Asia business conference in the United States. Our heartfelt appreciation to these outstanding global companies and organizations for supporting 2024 SAPO, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Georgia Property, YKK <laughs> Corporation of America, Georgia, Georgia Automotive Manufacturers Association, the State of Georgia, Brandon Cabinetry, Atlanta International Language Institute, Boss Kids, Murata Electronics, North America, Hotel USA, Kids are Kids China. China Window Group, Delta Airlines, Japanese Chamber of Commerce of Georgia, Chinese American Business Association of Atlanta, China Research Center, April, One Power Consulting, and others. Thank you so much for your continuous strong support for SAPO Conference. Since 2011, we have held 15 SAPO conferences in Atlanta, Shanghai, and online. In October 2023, KSU Vice President Dr. Karen Scapinato and I visited Tokyo, Japan, and we secured the iconic and beautiful Royal Park Hotel Tokyo Shiedomi to be the host for next SAPO conference on Friday, May 16, 2025. Please mark your calendars for Sobo Japan 2025, which is also a year for World Expo in Osaka, Japan. Today, we welcome our many out-of-town guests, including a delegation led by George Mui. of selfie from <laughs> I would like to recognize our keynote speakers, Ambassador Matt Murray, Honorable Jie Yin Zhao, and Honorable Juan Hill, all from Washington, D.C. If you are from out of town, please stand up be recognized, including those from Peachtree City, Columbia, and other places. <laughs> to SAPO advisors, members in SAPO planning committee, and our student volunteers. Thank you for your dedication and contributions. Especially, I have been working with two creative and young and hardworking Asian study students who have been working with me this whole semester for SAPO. Madeline Meyer designed the beautiful 2024 Sopo magazine. And Anna Nicholson created the professional looking Sopo badges. Thank you both. Stand up. <laughs> they were born in the year I came to KSU. So <laughs> thank, you. thank you. As many of you know, my life can be divided into two parts. BS and AS. 
<laughs> and by the way, I'm not speaking profanity. <laughs> Which means before sopel and after sopel. My husband Todd listens to me talking about sopel almost every day for the past 14 years. His latest quote is, I look forward to AS, but AS soon turns into BS. <laughs> Your life just has too much BS. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for you to plant seeds of friendship in hope for bountiful yields. Enjoy Sopo today, and thank you. Please welcome Dr. Catherine Kakinen, Dean of the Norman J. Radow College of Humanities and Social Sciences, and Professor of Sociology, Kennesaw State University. Thank you so much for that warm welcome. I'm so excited to be here today um, to welcome you from the Radow College. Um, I'll just have a few remarks because I think this is just an incredible event. It's been going on now for almost 15 years, and I am beyond excited that. Uh, Dr. Scarpinato and Dr. Megal were able to secure uh, a beautiful uh, setting for next year's event um, in Japan. And so just so excited that that will be an opportunity for us to bring students and faculty and our partners here uh, to, to Japan uh, to expand what we've been doing uh, the last 15 years. Um, I'll speak specifically to what this program means to the Radio College. Um, to have a faculty member like May Gao, who is so committed not only to her students and to the college and its mission and the university, but to create opportunities for us to build partnerships with business and industry uh, within a college of, I hate to remind you, we're a humanities college. And so for us to be a leader in creating these business opportunities is just remarkable. Um, the other point I think is the opportunity she brings uh, with different legislative groups, governments, um, and also delegations from countries within Asia and Southeast Asia. And it's just profound that she's been able to do that, particularly all the folks that are online um, across the globe. I will say I am beyond um, uh, supportive and appreciative to the work that Sha Wong and Mei Gao have done in terms of building the Asian Studies program that is now housed in the Department of World Languages and Cultures. Um, it is now positioned to really be a pivotal, pivotal part of the, uh, the Radout College, but also to partner with other colleges to have students be fully prepared, career ready for careers that intersect with Asia, Asian businesses, and an international focus. So I'm so grateful for that part of what they do as well. And then I'm grateful that I believe Mei Gao is by far the most uh, outstanding uh, advocate uh, for the college in terms of her work in creating resources to support this conference and to have it be a flagship event uh, within Kennesaw State University is just profound. So if we can all just share a warm thank you to, to Mei Gao. And finally, I do want to recognize all of the students in the room, so if they could quickly just jump up and, and just give a little wave, all of the students who are supporting the event, attending the event, stay along with us. I want all of the industry partners to take note and please proactively reach out to these young people. They are ready to work for you. They are ready to jump in and help all of your different organizations, businesses, excel. So again, keep them up a little bit longer. Please reach out to them today. Thank you so much. Please welcome Dr. Shev True, Vice Provost and Professor of Marketing and Professional Sales, Kennesaw State University. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Kennesaw. I love this. We're here. Uh, 27 years, 26 years ago, I lived in California. I had an office that had a view of the ocean, and I had a house at the beach. And I just got tenure. And I talked to my wife. Said, "You know what? We're going to move. I'm taking a job at Kennesaw State University." She said, "Who and where?" <laughs> and 
know, I, I got to meet a lot of people in the business school, but I actually, it was a small school back then, we had 11,000 students. Yeah. And what I recognized was this was a school, the university was going places. Georgia was a state that was going places. And it's because of people like Dr. May Gow and the faculty of all our deans that are here that this place is really taken off for 45,000 students. And as a marketing professor, I'll tell you the reason why we're that big is because as the person who's in charge of admissions, I'm not selling this university, and I sell the faculty, I sell the academics. That's why these great students are here, because of these activities like South Pole. This event is like 2004 is when May came, I remember, it's about five years uh, after I came. I thought I've been to this many, many times and seen it grow. But it's the context of the people in this room for our students, for our faculty, and so we're so thankful what she does and what all of our faculty do and really what all of our students do and what they can do for you. So I hope you enjoy this conference today. Uh, remember, your neighbors, your kids would love to come to Kennesaw. We'd love to have them here. And so please talk to us. But enjoy today. And thank you for coming to Kennesaw State. Please welcome Kiyo Kojima, Chairman, Japanese Chamber of Commerce of Georgia. I do not work here. <laughs> so you may be wondering why I'm not here. Um, not to date myself, but dare I say, I think I've been associated with KSU the longest. In a sense that I started taking piano lessons here back in 1985. <laughs> when KSU was in near Kennesaw College with few huts thereabouts. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, what a remarkable growth this place has experienced since then. Congratulations to all of you for, for who are associated with this beacon of an institution for having accomplished that. Uh, congratulations to Dr. Gao and everybody at SAPO for uh, making that possible. A um, little bit of background about myself. Um, I grew up right down the street on the border, border of Marietta and Roswell. <laughs> uh, as I said, I grew up taking piano lessons here and uh, you know, having attended Garrison Mill Elementary School, Mabry Middle School, Lasseter High School. Anybody here from Lasseter? Yeah, Walton. Hey! So I'll, I will also accept Walton, Sprayberry, Milton, Roswell. Uh, who did I leave out? Wheeler? Anybody? Okay. Um, you know, eating up American stuff, right? Marvel, X-Men, Indiana Jones, uh, whatever. And of course, I go off to college, I come back home, get a job. I have been blessed to lead an incredibly ordinary life in the context of Anglo-American paradigm. Yes. Yeah. What I mean by that is, anyone else in the world, a foreign-born boy, grows up with the natives and becomes one of its own. Yeah. I'd be on TV in that country. <laughs> <laughs> I sure, sure would be in Japan. Right? And I say this in, a, in a, an event like this, a marvelous event like this, where there's infinite diversity. Yes, everybody's got their own story, everybody's from somewhere. Um, but that, in my mind, is an American story. Mm -hmm. right. So as you go about making your connections, uh, setting the foundations for your next steps, making business connections and whatnot, I hope you all will keep that in mind and expound upon your American story for each of you. Uh, finally, just two words of wisdom from my childhood heroes and ten points if you know who these comments came from. Please be excellent to each other and live long and prosper. <laughs> Thank you very much.